Welcome to Summer of Sega Episode 2, and today we're going to be talking about Power Rangers games. And the first one I wanted to talk about is just called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Genesis. And this one is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game, sort of uh, similar to Virtual Fighter, uh, but the actual combat style feels more like what you'd feel in a beat-em-up. It just happens to be a one-on-one -on -one sort of versus fighting game. It just is all the original Power Rangers, the original team, nothing from the movies or anything later. It's a very fun but incredibly simple game. You start off being able to pick any of the Rangers. Um, you have the White Ranger instead of the Green Ranger, so it's a little bit uh, beyond the first season. And you get to just go through and have one-on-one -on -one fighting with the Rangers, and eventually you get into the Megazords. You are able to play as the actual like the Dinosaur Zords, um, and eventually you're able to play as like the actual Megazord itself, and it continues in the same style. It does a really good job of letting you play a variety of rangers, and they don't feel exactly the same. Uh, they're almost exactly the same. There are only a couple, though, that have feel like they have slight differences as far as the speed at which they'll do a move, or the reach. So it feels a little bit farther on a couple of them. Not incredibly noticeable, but enough where it's not just a straight color swap all the time. Uh, again, though, it's a very, very short game, and it's fairly easy, and the sequences where you are in something like the Megazord aren't quite as epic as they could have been. You don't really get a big sense of scale with them. It feels like you're still playing uh, sort of person-sized individuals versus person-sized enemies. So I feel like that's something that could have been done a little bit better, but other than that, it's a very standard one-on-one uh, -on -one fighting game from the time period. Nothing stellar, but a lot of fun, and especially if you grew up watching the Power Rangers as a young kid, it's a fun Genesis title to pick up. Uh, the superior game, though, is definitely Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. This one is a side-scrolling beat-em-up in the vein of something like uh, Streets of Rage or River City Ransom. Uh, this one is much better. Again, you pick all the original Power Rangers this time from the movie, and it is a lot of fun. It is a better overall titled in the first one as far as just sort of the general quality. The art looks a little bit better. The sound is a little bit better. Uh, the scrolling is done really well. It's very, very smooth. The fighting is very fluid and fast. It's kind of an underrated game where I think a lot of people picked it up because it is a movie license game, but it's kind of not remembered to be quite as good as it actually is because it's a movie license game. It's something where this is one I would put up as an example of a really good movie license game that did a great job of conveying the style and feel of the franchise it's based on while still having a really good base of gameplay where even if you had no clue what Power Rangers were you could still enjoy it. So it's definitely a fun game. Go through, pick your ranger, choose your favorite. Um, I usually will play as the Red Ranger or the White Ranger as my two favorites or like my wife would play Billy the Blue Ranger and um, occasionally I'll go and pick the Pink Ranger, you know, Kimberly, that famous Power Ranger who gave thousands of boys a special feeling they didn't quite understand. And last but certainly not least is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on the Sega CD. And this one is an FMV game with a bunch of just quick time events. You go through several episodes up to 10 chapters of the Power Rangers TV series and the clips are all actually used from the TV series, you can recognize a lot of them. It's very well done overall. It's simple but fun if you're part, you really enjoy the franchise. The video quality is of course terrible and pixelated, but being that it's FMV on the Sega CD, it's really just sort of on par. It's not worse than a lot of them. It's actually a little bit clearer than some stuff like Tomcat Alley. So it's, it's really not bad for an FMV game on the Sega CD. And the button presses, there's not a big delay. It's very precise. Um, you just have a to punch, B to block, C to kick, and then the different arrow directions, and you just match up whatever prompt shows up on screen. And the, it won't really change the images that you're seeing, but what it will do is if you miss a button press, the screen will shake and you'll lose a little bit of life. And if you hit it on time, you don't lose any life. And at the end of each level, your points are cashed in and you can gain life, or if you have enough points, you can gain a whole other continue. So that makes it uh, something that can be difficult at first if you're not used to that style, but it's actually fairly easy, especially after you realize that you don't really have to do the button press button presses really, really quick. At first when I started playing it, I was just trying to hit them as fast as I could and I would screw up a little bit more on later levels, but you actually have about half a second to a second after the button actually pops up for you to hit it. So it's actually a pretty easy game. 
and they did a really interesting thing where there are three difficulty levels, and there's, they're not really harder as you go through um, as far as like levels one through five. What it does is, if you play on easy, you only have access to the first few chapters. If you play on medium, you get access to even more chapters, and if you play on hard, that's how you gain access to the entire story. So it's a, very, it's a really good way to get multiple playthroughs, so it has more content than you'd actually think from an FMV game. It's a lot of fun. I've actually been pretty impressed with this one as far as FMV on the Sega CDs goes. This is probably one of the best games out that we actually got here in the States. It's a pretty good game. Um, all three of these, better than you'd think as far as movie license or TV license franchise games. The original one is definitely the weakest, the one-on-one -on -one fighting game. It's not that great. Um, but definitely, if you remember the Power Rangers and you have a Sega Genesis, pick up Power Rangers the movie. This is a good game. Probably the best out of the three. And if you happen to have a Sega CD, don't overlook this Look this one. A lot of people, because FMV will sort of pass it by, or because it has the exact same um, just regular Mighty Morphin Power Rangers title, doesn't have any sort of subtitle, some people think it's just a an updated port of the Genesis game, because they did that a lot on Sega CD, just added new sequences to a, a Genesis game. That's not what this one is, this is a totally original game, it's actually pretty good. Go ahead and check that one out. So three good Power Rangers games on the Sega Genesis.